Hello, uh, as I presented before, I have made several board using the ESP32 Pico D4. The first one is a Pico board, uh, just a developing board. All of the pinout has a terminal on board with a CPU, uh, CP2102 USB serial interface and a lithium polymer charging uh, circuit and a Leo. And the second one is a uh, ESP32 ADB with a DA converter for the web radio and the Bluetooth and uh, hopefully Alexa application because it has uh, enough pin now to connect I2S MEMS microphone. And this time I made a bit more advanced one. As you see, the new board is smaller than the previous one. As you see, this is the previous one and uh, smaller. The reason why it is small is that it's consisting of a double decker. The lower layer just consisting the CP2102 USB to serial interface on it. And uh, this connector uh, is connecting the ESP32 and the serial interface and uh, let's switch on how it works. Now I already uploading the blink binary to the ESP32 through the USB interface and I try to live update to the another binary. Yeah, now switch the binary to the simple one second blink. And uh, on this board, it has uh, enough pinout from GPIO 13, 14, 15, uh, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 26, 27, uh, 6, 7, 32, 33, 34, 35, and ground, VCC and ground, and enough for the plot typing. I'm avoiding to uh, have a pinout GPR 16 and 17 because that is internally connected to the SPI uh, flash memory in, inside the chip, so uh, it is very dangerous. It, it, we should avoid to use it for the stable application. So I think this is enough. And uh, as same as previous board, it has an onboard jumper. So turn off and uh, plug off. Always we need to switch off and turn off and uh, stop the applying the voltage to the board to change the jumpers. And let's connect the battery. It's a lithium polymer battery. And uh, when I connect, it turns red, meaning there now is a charging. And of course it turns on, it really works. And this time, we don't need to apply the voltage to the board and also we don't need the USB interface so just this single layer board works as a USB 32 board and uh, it is very uh, I think it's a useful to use inside the breadboard by this pinout and the prototyping have fun